Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones back with a new video on the Remington Model 11 Defender Project. This is uh, putting on the magazine tube extension. Um, there are a few things uh, that you want to do um, before you, um, you know, get it, find a tube that you um, find a tube to extend the magazine capacity of your Model 11. You want to make sure you got one where the threads match, and you're able to get. Um, one that you know the finish matches the gun if, that, if that's what you so desire and also make sure it's the capacity that you want it so this is actually the second tube I purchased the first one I bought was a factory Remington uh, three shot extension and it fit on it did fit on, it did fit the magazine tube of the, of the model 11 but the problem was the nut that came with the magazine tube extension was too shallow so I was able to thread it on all the way, but there wasn't but there wasn't a whole lot of space. Um, or there, there was very little space for threading on the magazine magazine tube. But it did thread, but it was it did manage to thread on. But um, but I didn't. But overall, I didn't like I didn't like the way it looked. Um, there wasn't because the, because that uh, that magazine tube extension is a two piece. There wasn't a lot of support for the magazine tube as it was hanging, uh, the extension as it was hanging off the, the factory magazine tube. So I sent it back, and I picked up, uh, I picked up this choke magazine tube extension. This is a two shot, and it does come with a follower. It comes with an orange follower and the magazine tube spring, but I decided to use the factory spring because it allowed for it allowed for um, less coils. And I was able to fit, get this. So even though this is a two-shot extension, because of its, um, because of this one-piece design, and it doesn't have that ridge, like the factory Remington 870 magazine tubes do, or you no, know, the eight, um, the 870 or 1187 or 1100 magazine tube extensions have, um, it doesn't have that ridge for a barrel band to hook the magazine tube extension to the barrel. So what actually happens is, and also because of the design of the bolt and the magazine tube system on the Model 11, this actually becomes a 3 plus 1. So instead of having um, a 6 plus 1 shotgun, I'm able to have a 7 plus 1. Effectively make this an 8 shot shotgun. So I'm going to show you guys some of the things I had to do. So right now I got the, um, I got the, gun, um, I got the magazine tube off. Uh, as you can see... Um, I have grease. I have. I decided to use Lucas Red and Tacky Number Two grease on the, on this from the factory. It called for um, it uh, called for a, a thirty weight motor oil, but I figured you know that'd be a little too sloppy, and I could explain why a lot of the forearms on Model Elevens were breaking. So I think the oil would absorb would be absorbed into the wood, and with the barrel slimming into slamming back and forth against the forearm. You're bound to have a crack, you know, a crack form. So, I decided to use Red and Tacky, and it works very well. Right now, I have it set up for heavy loads. at the brat, have the brass friction ring right here, and the steel friction ring. So, what I'm going to do next is uh, put my barrel on. I'm going to turn the case so you can see this. So I got my barrel on. Another thing I have to do. Because because it's a one piece unit, the the magazine tube doesn't thread it any far, any farther than that. So I had to take off a quarter of an inch from the from the factory magazine tube, which wasn't too difficult. Um, you can see there's plenty of threads for you know a stock for the stock magazine end cap or for magazine tube extension. This just allows for this magazine tube to thread much further onto the magazine tube without there being um, an interruption. Also, because of the design, I had to, make, had to use this as a spacer. This is from Scattered Gun Technologies. Oh, sorry, this is from Wilson Combat. Um, and it's a, basically a plate to put on if you want to put a sling, but it also takes up a lot of slack that would be made if I didn't, if I had from, uh, from them being too much space. So, I'm gonna slide my forearm on. Now this is a bit tricky because the the barrel is under spring tension um, on the magazine tube. So what I try to do is see if I can get it lined up 
All right, it's lined up. It's I can it's lined up to where I can get you know pressed down to get back in place. I'm gonna get my take my Wilson Combat uh, sling plate. Just place it on top like that, and then got my factory spring. I'm also using the same uh, follower that came with the shotgun. And I get my magazine tube. Okay, now this way gets a little tricky. You want to kind of you're gonna want to keep everything lined up while you press down the magazine tube extension. And press the spring down and now you want to push the barrel down just enough to where you can get the threads like I said it's, been, it's a challenge <laughs> we'll press it down so we can get the threads of the magazine tube <laughs> to come up out of the, out of the, the handguard There we go. Also, you want to have your, you want to have your bolt cocked back when you do this. So, you guys can see. Oops. There we go. You get your magazine tube, extension, and kind of press all the way down. Like so. There we go. And just run it on. There we go, and the barrel comes back up. And you can check to make sure that the plate is a uh, doesn't it is not that the 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 machine the curved machine cut out on the top of this plate is not touching the barrel because remember the barrel reciprocates. So check the space. I'm gonna hold the plate and hold it hold it in place, and then tighten up. Your magazine tube extension. I do like this extension, this one piece um, unit. Um, remember, just cut off about a quarter of an inch from the magazine tube. Um, on, on these magazine, on the factory magazine tubes, there's a there's there's a bit of a material that is not threaded. So you cut that off, and then you you know you shape it smooth, and then do a test fit to see if this to see if this will thread on and mate securely with the plate. And with the forearm, and as it's looking, it's pretty secure. So there we go. Now you turn this thing from a four plus one into a seven plus one. Again, there is no ridge. There is no ridge right here that would normally keep the follower from going any going uh, past a certain point in the magazine tube extension. So now, so the magazine tube follower will go all the way towards the back the spring can fully compress also because of more space here there's um the shell ba the base of the shell will stick out toward will stick out a bit be um being stopped by so slam this bring the bolt forward oh one other thing you don't want that gap there so what we're gonna do is we'll push down the barrel again Tighten this down some more. There, now the gap went away. So now get everything as secure as you can so that the gun's not beating itself up as the action reciprocates. So here we go. Oh yeah, so um so there's this uh there's this catch right here where the head or the rather the base of the shotgun shell will will get stopped by. So it's kind of like a shell stop. So with that extra space, when the carrier is in down position with that extra space, you're able to fit one more shell into the magazine tube. So instead of making this a six plus a six plus one, it's a seven plus one. But that's how it looks. That's looks pretty, that's pretty slick, huh? Um, it's pretty still. It's pretty comfortable. It's very easy to point. Uh, even with all this, you know, even with the, the tube fully loaded, is not too much weight in the front. 
But that's my video on the magazine tube extension. Remember, this is a choke. Um, Carlson's makes one. Um, you could still use the the Remington um, the Remington factory um, extension um, magazine extension tubes. You just have to trim a lot, trim off a bit more material from the factory tube, um, the tube that came with the gun itself, just so you can get more, just so you can have more of a more material to work with for the magazine tube to thread into. But um, I hope you guys like this video. Please share your thoughts. Tell me what you think about how I got this set up. Um, I got a few more videos lined up to show you guys um, on this project. Any, uh, if you guys want to help out with this, you know, with this project or future ones, just go look for the PayPal link on my homepage and look for the give up that cheese button. Make a donation of any amount that you can. Any gripes, complaints, please send me a PM. I'll see if I can do and address them. But that's another video for the Remington Model 11 Defender Project. This is just the addition of a magazine tube extension. I'm Edward Jones, and thanks for watching. God bless.